Hello, you're yeah, welcome to my channel today. My name is FC Ashaolu, and this is the Musing of the Spirit channel, a platform where we reveal the intent and the mind of the Holy Spirit to bring you joy, peace, and encouragement in your day to day work with the Lord. Amen. If you are new on my channel, I want to encourage you to press the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you will always get alert each time I post new videos on this channel. Amen. So today I have five scriptures uh, on waiting upon the Lord. Earlier today, I released a, a video on waiting upon the Lord. If you have not watched it, I will leave the link to the video at the top of this video so that you can click right away to go watch it and be blessed. Amen. So today I have five scriptures on that same topic so that you can meditate upon it even as you wait upon the Lord for one thing or the other in your life. Amen. So the first scripture is taken from the book of Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 31 and it reads, For those who wait for the Lord and find renewed strength, they rise up as with wings as eagles, they run without growing weary, they walk and down. Uh, they walk without getting tired. As long as you are waiting upon the Lord, you have your strength renewed. You will rise up with wings as eagles and you will get strength to walk without getting tired. Hallelujah. The second one is taken from the book of Psalms 27 and verse 14. And it reads, Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and it shall strengthen thy heart. Wait, I say, on the lord this scripture is encouraging us not to be hasty in the decisions of life but to wait upon the lord wait upon the lord when you pray and the answer is yet to come wait upon the lord the lord has not forgotten you he's simply preparing you for the blessings ahead amen the third scripture is taken from the book of psalms 123 and verse 2 and it reads behold as the eyes of servants look unto the hand of their masters and as the eyes of a maiden look, um, of a maiden unto the hand of her mistress, so our eyes wait upon the Lord our God until that He have mercy upon us. As the eyes of servant look unto the hand of their master, so we should wait upon the Lord, because we know that at the end of the day, the Lord will have mercy upon us and come through for us in the name of Jesus. The fourth scripture. Uh, it's in the book of uh, Psalm 62 and verse 5. And it reads, My soul wait thou upon my soul, wait thou only upon God, for my expectation is from him. Let your soul, let your spirit wait upon the Lord for that blessing that you want. Let your spirit and soul rest in the Lord. For that blessing because your expectation comes from god god will never disappoint your expectations in the name of jesus and the last scripture is taken from the book of psalms 25 and verse 3 and it reads yea let none that wait on thee be ashamed let them be ashamed which transgress without cause as long as you are waiting upon the lord the lord will not allow you to be ashamed those people that have waited upon the lord before none has ever been ashamed I am one of them. The Lord has never put me to shame while well, I had to wait upon him for one thing or the other. So I want to um, admonish you to wait upon the Lord. Amen. Wait upon him when the answer you are asking for, you are looking for, has not yet come. Wait upon him. The Lord will come through for you in the name of Jesus. I hope you are blessed by this scripture. I want you to tell me in the comment section which of these scriptures do you like the most. And if you have some to add to it, also you can also add in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. And don't forget, if you have not subscribed to this channel, now is the time to do so. Press the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you will get notifications each time I drop new videos on this channel. Thank you and God bless you. Amen. God loves you and I love you too. Bye-bye.